Hey guys, my name's Chris. Welcome to the channel. What's your seven day or set of a night? Drop your comment down below. Today's video is pretty cool. We're talking about a new fragrance from the house of Cupid. And this fragrance here is called Hypnosis 2.0. So in this video here, I'm going to talk about my performance, how I feel about it. And then later on in the video, I'm going to let Kelly smell it and see how she feels about the fragrance as well. I just want to give a small announcement that this was sent to me for review the brand reached out to me so i really do appreciate it. i'm going to give you guys my honest reviews you guys have been watching for probably almost seven years now so i appreciate all the support and feedback so i'm gonna tell you if i like it or i don't at the end of the day fragrance are subjective if i don't like it and you love it that's great and if i love it and you don't like it no worries this fragrance here comes in a 50 ml bottle this is a presentation pretty cool different top is our cupid logo which is cool the back of it has some information so this fragrance here is bold masculine and sensual. This is pretty cool. So this is the presentation. Comes in a nice little box like this. A card inside. This is the bottle. Now the bottle is pretty nice. Look at this. Really nice. Simple bottle, but it's nice. The cap up top has the same logo. So here's some information. So this fragrance here actually um, kind of gives you the attention of a fragrance, right? Like you want to get um, compliments, right? This type of fragrance that will give the attention to get compliments you want to get her attention you want some feedback this is the type of fragrance that's going to lure the girl in what i mean by it is one of the fragrances that are kind of sexual seductive type of fresh slash sweet fragrances in my opinion i give this a fresh spicy uh fragrance if you're thinking category wise first off it opens up very refreshing right then you're getting some sweetness in the mid and you're getting a little bit of spices and musk in the dry down so no breakdowns pretty simple which i touch on real quick we have notes of grapefruit, lemon, bergamot in the opening, or citruses. And then in the mid, we have rose, jasmine, and we have violet leaf, and we have clove in the mid. And in the base, we have vetiver, cedar, vanilla, ambergris, and musk. So I'll spray it on my skin here so you guys can see how it smells. Right here, fresh spray here. Sprayers are okay. I wish the sprayer was a little bit more narrow and simple to shoot out because you have to do a couple extra sprays to get to it. But nevertheless, it's a sprayer. It is what it is. So this opens up very refreshing. You're getting some nice citrus with the lemon. You're getting a nice bit of grapefruit. But the opening is very fantastic, very fresh and clean in your face. If you think of fresh and clean fragrance like Dior Sauvage, Blue Day Chanel, you kind of get those fresh and clean vibes. Not the same fragrance, but you get those vibes. Now, in the middle of this fragrance, you're definitely picking up. You're definitely getting some jasmine and some violet. I don't pick up any rose at all. And frankly, more the mid is more on the sweeter side. So you're getting a little bit of freshness in the mid, but you're getting more of the vanilla. It's sweet. Um, not overly sickly sweet, but it's a nice sweetness. And in the dry down, you're picking up some vetiver, some musk, and some cedar. This is a very nice fragrance to wear in any situation, any scenario. Now, this fragrance does have another thing. They have a roller ball, which is pretty cool. This one here is going to cost you about $39.95 for a roll-on. This is a Hypnosis X Auto Parfum, and this is Hypnosis 2.0 auto puff on which is cool so it does going to have long lasting power now the roll on is pretty cool same thing it's bold masculine and sensual and it comes like this which is pretty cool and it has all the information in the back a nice roll on now when you roll this on it's pretty cool it smells very different than the bottle itself so this here has notes of leather amber and cedar this is really nice guys i really wish this was the actual as the bottle was this is more nice like i get more of a darker sweeter cedar with this here this is awesome i really do like this one a lot i'm not into roller balls like as like a perfume or anything to put on your skin it's not my thing but this is definitely cool to wear and you can layer both these together which is pretty cool and a bit more of a fresh spicy sweet combo which is nice so today I'm going to wear this throughout the day and I'm going to come back and give you my performance, how I feel about it, give you my rating and final thoughts, when to wear it, and I'm going to let you know if Kelly likes it as well. Hey guys, so before the day ends, we're going to go out and see a movie um, at AMC Theater. We're probably going to see Ghostbusters. So my set of nights going to be from the House of Cupid Fragrances. This is hip 
Hypnosis 2.0. So I'm gonna wear this fragrance tonight. Let's do uh, a couple sprays. Here we go. Four, five. Do five sprays. It's one of the fragrances that you can do a couple sprays because the sprayer isn't the best. But we're gonna wear this out tonight and see if I get any comments. Let you know how long it lasts on my skin and let you know if Kelly likes it as well. Hey guys, I'm here with Kelly, my fiance. So before we start the video, she just explained where she's been at. She's been busy with a lot of stuff, but people have been asking about her. So instead of me talking about it all the time, she'll give her perspective. I'm, during Q1, I'm extremely busy at work. Uh, so that's why you guys haven't seen me in as many videos, but I've been in some videos recently, but uh, my fans have been missing me, so sorry. <laughs> No problem. So usually she's busy in the months of March and April. So that's why January. Said, I'm sorry, March. January through March. She's been busy. So she'll be back in some videos, hopefully, maybe the end of April or beginning of uh, May, right? Yeah, I, the, the busy season ends Tuesday. All right. She'll be back. Everything is fine. We're getting married soon as well. So got a lot of stuff on our plate. A lot. Yeah. So we're going to talk about this fragrance here called Cupid and... This is the fragrance right here. Now, Kelly's gonna give her perspective on it. So this is the opening. I sprayed a few seconds ago on my skin. Okay, so it definitely has grapefruit. Uh, there's citruses, there's lemon, um, there's rose, there's jasmine, violet leaves, cedar, vanilla, I am musk. This is the dry down right here. This has been on me for about six hours. Mm. All right, so. How do you feel about this fragrance here? It's going for about $59, regular $80. And this fragrance is supposed to be more of a fragrance that enhances like a masculine kind of scent where women will like this fragrance, we gravitate to it, stuff like that. They kind of talk about this fragrance as a easy fragrance for women to like the smell on a guy. You had me smell it on paper yes. at first and I was like, me. Um, I did not like it on paper at all. Mm -hmm. Um, but then you sprayed it on you and I was like, okay, it smells a lot better on you. So I would definitely say for people spray it on your skin. Uh, don't go off of how it smells on paper because I do not think it smells good on paper personally. Um, this is definitely something that you want interacting with your skin chemistry. Um, because first impression on paper, no good. It smells good on you. Um, the first impression. I was just sprayed. Um, Yep. is um like the end versus the dry down like i'm actually getting like i don't get the vanilla in the first impression okay. but i actually smell it in the dry down okay. um so i do like the dry down a lot um so it definitely develops um to something like sweeter um which you guys know i like sweet stuff um so i do like the dry down i would give like the opening I'd probably give it like maybe like a like a six. Okay. But I would give like the dry down more like a like a seven and a half. Okay, cool. You think it's like a masculine scent for guys to wear that women would like to smell this on their man? Um, yeah, like I think it's a good a good fragrance. Chris is always giving his ratings based on like the overall. I'm usually just giving my rating over like just how does it smell. Um, the price is great. I think that's Fabulous. 15 um, bottle, which I is like not the bad. art on the bottle too. I think that's great. Um, it's not like I think that like stands out. That would make me like kind of reach for it. Like a lot of your bottles are very like plain. Yeah, no not no no logo or nothing on it really. Yeah, like they're just like colored bottles. This actually has like some art on it, mm -hmm. which I like. Um, so I'll give them props for that. Price you can't beat, especially with like all of these like niche you you have a lot more of expensive niche hundred dollars two hundred three hundred dollars yeah. uh so you can't beat that um so yeah i like it uh i think it's i think it's definitely decent it's not like blowing me away mm. but for the price you can't beat that okay guys so we're done with the movies kelly gave her perspective on the fragrance since we got back from the movie theater so she likes the fragrance so that's always a plus you know it's not reinventing the wheel. You smell stuff like this at your local department store. Think of fragrances in the sweet line like Paco Rabanne fragrances, Invictus fragrances, 
YSL fragrances. That's what you're going to get with a fragrance like this. Now, keep in mind, a fragrance like this is 60 bucks. You're not going to break the bank. Now, this is something you can spray and you're going to get some type of compliment factor wearing something like this out in public. Make sure you got yourself put together. You're looking happy, enjoying life. You got your head down, looking miserable, upset. You're not going to get comments. But this is the type of fragrance that when you're around people, talk to people, interact with people, they don't like the way you smell. This is a type of fragrance that will garner attention if you want that in fragrances. I think this is a good release by the brand. I'm waiting for them to come up with some more amazing fragrances. And this is one I can see myself wearing just regular, casual to work, running some errands. It's very nice, easy to wear scent, couple sprays. And you know for a fact that you're not going to smell horrible wearing a fragrance. Some fragrances come out, they smell horrible. They hype them up. This fragrance here is a very easy to wear fragrance. I would say somebody between the ages of 16 up to 40 years old, you can wear something like this. Over 40, you probably can still rock this, but I feel like 40 is a sweet spot where if you're that still young at 40, you can rock something like this. You guys should definitely check out. Uh, this is Cupid. This fragrance here is called Hypnosis. This is their 2.0 version. So this is the newer version. It's the Auto Perform Concentration. Thank you to the brand Cupid Fragrances, the company for sending this bottle out to me for review. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have tried this fragrance, let me know down below. Do you like it, love it, or hate it? What's your experience with it? I'll leave a link down below if you like to buy this fragrance. I don't get no commission. It's just a video that I did for the brand. They sent me the bottle. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I see you in my next upload. Peace.